Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius weekly money and career reading from September 2nd to the 8th, 2024. Sagittarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Sagittarius Weekly Money and Career, September 2nd to the 8th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of September. Grab your best headphones, earbuds for a better sound. And let's begin. I'm going to pull one card from this Oracle deck, Le Normand Oracle deck, and see what the root of the matter is, what we need to know. Thank you. The anchor. Okay. All about stability, security, attachments, anchoring your way in or anchoring to a decision, a job, settling in. Let's see what this is all about. With Tarot, let's connect the dots. Sagittarius, what is this all about? What are you settling for? What would you like to settle for? We have the Hermit, you're still searching. Five of Wands, a lot of discussions, maybe disagreements, different point of views. Um, a lot of conversations, but I feel like, wow, I, I feel like you're, you're gaining control. You're, you're finding solutions. You're, you're resourceful. You're figuring things out. You have the hermit, which is one. I feel like there are two things. Well, they go together, but one, you're figuring out your direction, what you want, right? What am I made of? And why do I feel like I need to um, think this out and maybe do things differently? And um, what's my journey, right? What's my journey all about with the hermit? Uh, thinking inwards and understanding that your answers, your solutions are going to come within, not from this, not from gossip or the outside world or other or distractions or, you know, people telling you otherwise or people battling around you, right? Battling, you know, saying other otherwise. No, your answer is within, with you, with who you are, what you want, what your purpose is. And I think you're figuring that out with the strength, right? In control, um, taming the energies, channeling your power, channeling your inner power and being resourceful. Good for you. Good for you. All right. So where is this taking you? Because clearly little by little, you know, you're finding stability. You're finding your anchor, your spot, your place, what you want, right? And so what is this space? What is that? What is it that you're finding? Yes, there it is. Two of wands, there's your vision, there's your goal. So if you're, you're needing to find a new goal or find a new vision because what you have is not satisfying or what you have you no longer have, right? Here it is. You got this. You're planning. You're, you have your goal. It's clarified. Whatever your search is, you're finding it. Even if you have to battle it out. Even if people don't agree with you. That's okay. That's okay. You have your own, your own path. You have your own ways. The willpower you have, the willpower, standing your ground. There you go, standing your ground. This is what I want. 
I want to, you know, example, I want to change jobs. Not easy, but I want to do it. I want to shift my way of seeing my career. I want to build something else. I want to open my, I want to branch out. I want to see what other options I have in another city. Six of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Abundance. Okay. But you're standing your ground with your family or standing your ground with people from the past. You don't want the past anymore. You don't want, you're nostalgic, but that's not what you want anymore. You're on the defense. You don't want it anymore. Well, let's pull cards. Do you not want to be around your family anymore? Or do you not want to go back to the past? Even though you are nostalgic of that, you are nostalgic of the comfort, but you're on the defense for that. So, what is this all about? You're opening yourself up to the world. You don't want to go back there. You, you, Even if it was nice, that's not what you want. All right, so let's see where you're going. Let's move forward. First of all, I'm going to put pull a card on the anchor. What is this anchor all about? What are you settling in? Where are you going to anchor yourself? Are you moving? Where are you finding your stability? High Priestess and King of Swords. Revealing your place. Revealing what you want. She... You're... you're hmm, are you revealing or not? Well... Okay, so this is a plan that you've had. This is a project that you've had with the with the high priestess. She's all about, you know, um, something that you've been wanting to do or wanting to develop. Right? A period where you're taking the time to reflect. Taking the time to... Um, profoundly right with the hermit profoundly figure this project out or invest in something different that you really believe in and then you have the the king of swords which is really coming into your power your idea your way and finding clarity on that Cl finding clarity on your project that you have really profoundly rethought. This is something deep within you. This is between the hermit and the, um, the high priestess. This is something that you have really, really thought out, taking the time to do that. And with the, with the King of Swords, you are standing firm on this. This is something, something you really want to do. You, you're, you don't, you're not going to let anybody get in your way anymore. So you have this um, seven of wands where, you know, you're, you're standing your ground. And even if your friends, your family disagree with you and have a lot of discussions around this whole decision, clarity, right? You're standing your ground because that's what you want independence and abundance but you above all independence and making your choice good for you all right so here we go with this um it's it's really really profound uh Sagittarius I don't know what this is all about but it has really Whatever this is, it has changed the course of your life or it has profoundly um, changed your vision in your path. Life path, career path, whatever it is. All right. So what's your vision? We have it here. The two of wands. You know what this is. 
you know what this is. You haven't started officially yet, but you know what this is. Like, you have a plan, you have a goal, you have a vision. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, it is moving on and starting over completely. You're doing a 180. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And leaving, leaving whatever it is that you need to leave behind. Finding your new anchor. To do that, you have to leave those emotions behind. You're moving on, moving forward, leaving family behind, emotions behind, friends. And all these discussions there are not easy, but you don't have that many cups, though. Here are the cups, what you're leaving behind. The process that you have moving forward is is okay you have the solutions you have the stamina the the energy the willpower to push it forward that you have you have the clarity and the power of doing this you're taking the time you're really taking the time to do it right and to be able to leave this behind whatever this is it's a big change with the death card right but the death card is about um, letting go, letting go, Let it, letting go what's not serving you, letting go those emotions, those ties, those triggers that have been blocking you or, or giving you that sense of, okay, well, no one's ever agreeing. We cannot agree on anything. I need something else. I need out. I want something different. I don't want to be in this anymore, even though it has served me and I was really happy to be with them, my family, my friends. It's been wonderful. I am nostalgic of the old times, but I need a refresh. I need a renew. And that's what the death card is all about. Is it's, a, it's accepting to let it go. And because it's not for you anymore. End of the chapter moving on and again this i say this every time these are all energies so it it might not always be about moving somewhere else it might not all not always be in the 3d right it's going to be different for everyone sometimes it's just letting go something that has been difficult and has been weighing on you emotionally a family dynamic something in the past, something that happened that has been difficult and you're letting that go. That's, that's what it's all about. Understanding that it, it, it's no longer for you, no longer serving you, no longer up to you to carry that with you. There's nothing more you can do. but allow new energies to come in, allow new doors to open. And it is with that um, willpower to let go, right? To accept an ending, a change, and also a liberation. All these changes are also very liberating so even if they're tough they're opening you up to something more interesting that belongs to you that's you today right letting go of your own old self and leaving the past behind for these new opportunities for this renewal for this transformation that's coming into your life. And maybe it's old habits and maybe it's resentments and maybe it's, you know, emotions, situations that you're just detaching yourself from that were cumbersome and were just blocking you from moving forward, making decisions, finding clarity, understanding. Right? When we round and round in that fishbowl. 
this time it's about you. This time you will be able to move forward and blossom, right? Because you're, you're just leaving that and leaving that. I always say, put it on the shelf, close the door, turn the key, lock the door, let it go. Not denying it, just leave it in the past. All right. What's coming in? Now that we have our transformation, what is coming in? What's the next step? We have our Two of Wands. So I feel like the Two of Wands, yes, it is understanding that you're moving forward on something different. Yes, and you don't trust them anymore. <laughs> Am I taking these? Oh, you don't trust maybe um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn about money, home. All right, and now we have, there we have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. So moving into something new. There's a new beginning. Building new. New passion. New emotion. New understanding. All right, let's see where this Ace of Wands is going. Where's this Ace of Wands going with uh, Sagittarius? A new passion. There we go. There's the new passion. And there we have the Empress. So you are creating. Beautiful. Maybe you are creating a new family. Maybe you are creating a business. Maybe you're an artist and creating something. Uh, putting your talent out there. Nurturing your talent. Sharing. Caring. Being there. Being in the emotion. All about emotion. That's funny because, not funny, haha, but I was just saying there are no cups there besides the Eight of Cups. There's no cups there. Besides letting go or the nostalgia, they're only cups from the past. And here, even if there are no cups, the Ace of Wands, the Devil and the uh, Empress are all about passion, um, emotion, being there, being in the moment and caring for others, sharing for others and sharing a passion. Develop your Developing this creativity, uh, creating something. You're taking your freedom to create something for sure to start this new journey. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so let's pull some cards on this. I'm going to change decks. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Oh, okay. Well, this just popped Okay, here we go. All right, there's your new journey. Financially stable. You have two times. Okay, so we have, no, that's, yeah, the, the, the financial stability or the harmony in your home or whatever that represented here is something you have blocked. So even if it was abundant, it feels like it's all about finances and all about finances within your family or a family dynamic or a group of people or people you're living with or people you're mostly living with more than working with, right? Um, you were blocked there. You have to make a decision. So there, you're sort of closed off from those people, closed off from communication. You don't want to deal with them anymore. You don't even want to see them anymore. Done, right? Blocked. Um, don't want to talk to them. You're not listening to them. You're not open to any sort of communication there. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is the opposite of that. Opening up to communication, being there for others, listening, that empathy of understanding and being there for others and communicating. Is this a person that you do not want to communicate with anymore? Is this Queen of Cups, someone, a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you don't want to talk to anymore, that you're closed off with because of that situation? It is possible. 
or finally you're opening up. Let's see, one more card on this Queen of Cups. Are you finally opening up? Well, I think you are since you're finding your way, right? At one point, you are communicating and are um, open to this new life, this new path, open to the world, seeing the world, seeing things differently, and wanting something completely new with the Death card, opening up to a new chapter, all right, so let's one more, one more round. Truth. Again, we have this King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this King of Swords is probably the person you're trying to figure things out with. That is also the Emperor. And you're victor you have victory over that. Yeah. Um, victory over someone very controlling. Very structured. There's not much wiggle room there. There's not much wiggle room either, even for communication. So both blocked off. Bo both not wanting to communicate. When I say both, it doesn't have to be just two people. But both sides, right? If it's family or in the job, or whoever this miscommunication or lack of communication is that's very rigid, very rigid, not really open to other people's ways or changing ways or communicating or finding solutions or, you know, proactive or anything, right? Very rigid, yet you have victory over that. So I feel like you are understanding that your power is much bigger than this and your life is going to be steered in a different way no matter what no matter what people think no matter what they say no matter how this is going you have victory over that beautiful six of wands you should be proud of yourself you're committed you made it happen you you thought it out you thought it out or you are thinking it out it's all you it is all you Sagittarius proud moment here a victory over your path your choices your career your job whatever it is to anchor yourself into your new life beautiful beautiful reading Sagittarius beautiful um um, I want to say that the magic word here is my new anchor or my new path or my new way because it's a really, really beautiful energy. It is, it's, it's all about figuring out, you know, what, how you can move forward after, um, complicated dynamic where people don't agree with you and people feel like their way is the highway and a very you know uh, very controlling and and pretty much and this can be a father figure it can be a boss it can be a friend it can be anybody um, that is very controlling around you where you you don't you want out you want out and and I feel like with these two of two kings of swords and the emperor, it's a lot of rigidity, a lot of rigidity. So kudos to you, Sagittarius. Beautiful, beautiful trajectory here, and um, you're anchoring your way into your new happiness, balance, success, whatever this is, with pride. Good for you. Um, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, just put anchoring my way, uh, down below in the, in the comment section and don't forget to be subscribed. Just double check that you are subscribed. Um, if you're interested, of course, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you, um, connecting with this channel, watching these readings, sharing your journeys, your energies along the way gratitude to each and every one. Thank you so much for watching. Sagittarius, have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.